Three tips for creating branded partnerships. When a business starts out and gets going, many owners believe that they can go about things on their own without the help of many others. This is how many new businesses are run, especially in the first few years. People want to forge their own path, do their own things, create a brand and personality for a company that feels completely their own. Plus, it's not always easy to find a brand partner in those early days. Most other brands and businesses aren't eager to sign on with another that hasn't proven itself yet. However, at a certain level, creating branded partnerships isn't just easier, it's downright essential for the growth of a company. By making a strong partnership with others, a company can grow and find a bigger audience, a more loyal fan base, and more ways to improve their bottom line and expand their reach. In this tutorial, we're going to focus on a few tips to keep in mind when you are attempting to bond a partnership between your business and another. It doesn't matter what you're selling or how many loyal customers you have, a branded partnership can go a long way to making a good company great. A branded partnership is the act of two parties coming together to make their own business success even stronger. You might not be aware of it, but you have seen plenty of branded partnerships throughout the years. That's because they work. When two companies come together in an intelligent way, they can reach new levels of financial flourishments. The first tip to remember when creating your branded partnership is to find ways where the audiences of both parties come together and combine. Where do they align? What commonalities do they share? You can imagine how this will come in handy when it comes to attracting your customers and marketing. If you can find the overlap between both customer bases, you can really craft a campaign that will speak to all of them at once. If your customers don't care about the products provided by your partner, then you will quickly see that the partnership isn't working and you should rework your plans. Rely on research to figure out how you can speak to both customer bases at the same time and really improve the bottom line for everyone involved. You should also create expectations for your new partnership, but you should never get carried away with them. While two companies coming together can really help the sales for everyone, it doesn't always happen overnight. It's smart, actually it's essential, that you keep your expectations in check. What do you expect from this partnership and when do you expect to see the results? Remember that expectations are also goals and it's smart for every company to have goals. But perhaps the most important tip to always remember is that you should really understand your product and your company before you attempt to make a branded partnership. This is pivotal and it is, sadly, a step that many people miss. If you don't understand what you're selling, why you're selling it and what value it brings to your customers, then you won't be able to find all the nuanced ways that you can work with other companies. Also, if you're not truly familiar with your products, then you likely lack a company culture. And this will also close you off to so many opportunities with partnerships. Knowing your product inside and out means knowing what you sell, who you sell it to, and what it provides to people. Once you've mastered your knowledge about that, you'll see that you know more about your company, what it is, and what it can be. Before you can really create a meaningful partnership, you need to truly comprehend what your company is and what it stands for, and specifically, what it sells. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.